Hey folks and welcome to a Thursday video, it's a little different because we're looking into some of the new shiny stuff, what the hell, dust on apparently, huh, we're looking at some of the new shiny stuff we've got here in the server and there are some amazing things as I kind of need to make sure I've selected the character. Um, so yes, first thing, Sandy Sheriff Station. Looks a little different, doesn't it? Let's take a look inside, because we've had some pretty beefy changes. You see all the doors? Yeah. Oh yeah, they open. And when I actually let this one close, they lock. You can no longer walk through them when they're locked. Same goes for the cells. Unlock. Opens. Allow close. Lock. Now, because of our character system, this is tied to a Leo character. So if I was to select, say, Widowmaker, I could walk through this door. I can't control it at all. But if I select Kate Riley, a cop character, because in our CAD system, she has Leo permissions, I can unlock and lock the doors because I have the keys. So we've got a office here with a couple of desks. We've got a whole changing room. Nice little small one. Nothing huge. Someone left their pants on the floor apparently. And if we take a run through here. Yeah, it says please. It says Sandy Shaw's police department. But it is still a nice office. Little briefing room with projectors. And out front. And we can control all these LEO only spaces by locking the doors. See? Nice and simple. Rather cool, huh? Probably the best add-on we've ever had for Sandy Shores. Pretty darn amazing, if you ask me. Brings a little something to life, doesn't it? Adds a huge amount to roleplay. Especially when it comes to the cops putting someone in jail and not locking the door. They can run away. Legitly. Let's take a look at Mission Row. So, here we are at Mission Row. Looks all the same from the outside. In fact, even the lobby looks the same. Because it is. The really cool stuff happens downstairs. This is something I'm really, really excited about. We'll take ourselves down here. Yeah, all those things mean something now. Or at least most of them do. In similar vein to Sandy Shore's Sheriff Station, we've had a few construction projects underway here at Mission Row, and they've made quite the difference. One of them is right here. First off, we'll take a look at the cells, though, because, like in Sandy, these doors can be locked by Elio. We now have more than three. We now have five cells in here. An ability to lock even this gated door, so people can't just yeet their way in and out as they wish to. Also controls Leo only spaces. This just goes outside like normal. Yada yada, no problem. The really cool stuff is through here. Also, one of our nice features is that we've always had in the server, but I don't think I've ever pointed out. You see that little blue MDT in the bottom left corner? If I'm next to a computer at a police station, I can use that to access our CAD system. If you're not near a computer, you can't access the CAD or the MDT. So down here we have some waiting areas, and we have, unlock the door, an interrogation room with control room. Yes, so we can record things, we can have people monitoring interrogations, we can observe people, we could even technically do a lineup with this room, because it allows it to function that way, which is pretty amazing in my eyes. Same thing applies for over here, basically a carbon copy of the room. camera controls in the works and now the interrogation room with two well one-way glass so to the people in here they have no idea who's behind that glass nobody at all we could do lineups in here we could do interrogations the whole thing works very nice and in addition to this we have a couple of cells down here just in case we get a little crowded our new jail system actually now, rather than assigning everyone to the end cell, 
in Mission Row like they used to, now assigns people to cells based on capacity. So, if someone was jailed in the cells out there, there could be five people jailed out there, each gets assigned their own cell by the jail command. And if those five are full, they get put into these two. If they're jailed in Sandy Shores or Blaine County, they'd be assigned to the Sandy Shores cells, where there's three. And after that reaches capacity, they'd go to Bolingbrook. And if this reaches capacity, they also go to Bolingbrook. So, every cell has one person, no more cut the stacking people. And if the doors are locked, they're locked in. Pretty neat. I'm actually really excited about this. It's going to make the roleplay so much cooler. Now, time for something a little soggier. Well, I told you that there was something a little soggier coming, and I was right. Welcome to our Port Authority fleet. These are beauties. Fully customized liveries for our Port Authority. San Andreas Port Authority, based on the logo from the actual LS Port Authority. We've got a small one here, which is pretty cool. All of them come equipped with lights. As you can see. And... And sirens. Best part is though, if we go to vehicle and we go to switch all passenger seats, normal and sitting on the front. So yeah, that's actually pretty cool for a small dinghy rather than being for god darn it swimming. Never thought I'd actually stay dry here, but that's why I'm wearing my life jacket. Newly added to our uh, in server e UP stuff. Of course, you saw the taser on Kate's duty belt earlier. Also new. And we've got two bigger vessels here. We'll start. We'll go size order. This one is a, I believe it's a Defender class. And all the boats are named, of course. I believe the little one's named. I think it might just be one of the launches. No, I didn't named. But we have here. I need to try and see the name on the far side. This is Patrol Vessel Tide Runner. This one has a full cabin. As you can see here. Full steering systems, seating, interior, and it's walk throughable. Twin outboard engines. Let's walk around this without falling in. There we go. And a full bow section, which you can stand in. Probably mount a searchlight there. But just like the others, we'll go around the back. We have, once I'm in, full lights and sirens. For all your maritime needs in terms of policing. This one's the big boy. This is the patrol vessel Relentless. This thing is fast and it's maneuverable. It dunks its gunnels every time it turns, of course, but she is an absolute beast. Let's take a look inside. Much bigger cabin here. You can see four internally. And of course, you've got space outside. One thing I haven't checked, actually, is seating. So let's see what that actually is. It's the one I haven't actually tested. Yeah, they're all internal. So that is a thing. We'll take them for a spin, actually. See what these are like. Let's unlock it first, because I had to freeze them to stay in position. Now, Relentless is a little bit hefty on the old... Uh, power. She tends to heal a little bit. But she is quick. Very powerful. She'll only be doing 50 knots at this channel. Try and get it turned around. Yeah, it kind of dips its gunnels, but it's washable deck, so water won't build up inside anything. It's basically flat deck, so once you've got the door closed, it's completely operational. And we've got working spotlights on all sides. Yeah, she heals over. Oh, God. That's a boy. I guess it's the aquatic version of hitting the fire hydrant, right? Let's take her back in here. And we'll just delete her so we can try out. Well, not try the dinghy. It's a dinghy. It behaves like a dinghy. My personal favorite, though, is the Defender class. Whoopsie. And I'm in the water again. Let's get out of there. The Defender class. My personal favorite when it comes to handling. Is... Much more stable. And it's kind of cute. It's little, but not too little. And 
yeah. Gotta say, kind of partial deliveries, I made them, but... <laughs> the Tide Runner. LS, Port, well, San Andreas, oh god, that's another water fire hydrant hit. Thankfully they move, but unlike the big one, you'll see now at a hard turn to starboard. Once we clear the buoy. Hard turn there, keeps the gunnels nice and dry. Mostly. But a wonderful boat that makes the job of, oh, nearly got another water hydrant. Port Authority a lot, lot easier. Oh God, that's big waves. But aside from that, we had a couple cool little features which you'll see on the beach once I don't end up swimming this time. We now have life jackets for civilians to use to allow them to roleplay on the water correctly. Port Authority have their own. The Rangers have their own for their boat. And the Fire Department have theirs for their rescue boat. So that's cool. Anyway, yeah. So this is just a short little video. I wanted to show you guys some of the cool new things we've added in. Things that you guys will probably find cool and you'll definitely see in roleplay in the near future. As uh, we're expanding a lot. And things are getting so much cooler. Anyway, folks, hope you have a wonderful Thursday. You can catch me streaming later tonight. And I will see you all soon. Bye.